Hi there everyone, um, just yet another video to show you how to set up your new RC5HL with the Turner G9X and more importantly the good old common Turner G8 channel receiver. Okay, um, this is the new version of the 5HL. Uh, basically it's pretty much the same as the earlier 5HL except we've got um, some LED there, LEDs here to um, give you a bit more information on what's going on. Okay, so this is how we set the system up. Connect up your servo cables to your receiver. Now, on your 5HL, input 1 is here, input 2, input 3, input 4, and input 5 is the input closest to your switch pins. The signal pin is the pin across closest to the microcontroller. So, with the 8-channel receiver, channel 1 goes into input 1. Okay, we'll just get that into input 1 there, like so. Now, this is where this receiver is different to all the others. Channel 2 and channel 3 are actually go out in the reverse order. So, channel 2 from your receiver, this channel here, channel 2, must go into input 3 on the RC5HL. Okay? Okay, so you can see it's, it's missed input 2. So, channel 2 goes into input 3. Channel 3 goes into input 2. Okay, now this is where this receiver differs from all other receivers. Okay, now you then simply connect channel 4 to input 4 and the important switch channel to channel 5. Okay, so that's your receiver and connected up to your RC5HL. Now, the next important thing you must do is put the jumper selection switch to the right place. So, pull it out and place it across the top two pins, like so. I don't know if you can see that there. It's across the top two pins. Okay, so your jumper's correct and your connections are correct. Plug the unit into your tank, the three pin cable here from your RX-18. Plug it in there. And she's right to go. Okie dokie. So, First thing you need to do is power up your radio. So we turn your radio on as it fires up. Okay, now with your radio at startup, you must have no channels doing anything or you can have, well, no channels from one to five doing anything. You can have anything on seven, six or eight, but it should be a blank screen like that. To turn on the RC5HL, you give 100% on channel five. Okay, so I've got this switch set up to provide 100% on channel 5. Okay, so that's your switching on and off function. Okay, as long as you can do that, the unit will start up. Okay, so let's turn it on. Now, when we turn it on, the LEDs will come on. All of them will come on at start, and then just your power LED will show, and this light will start blinking as the unit calibrates. When the unit's finished calibrating, it will start flashing rapidly like that next to my thumb there, okay? Now the unit is ready to turn on. Do not turn it on until that green light is flashing rapidly or so it's almost staying on constantly. Okay, so we're ready to turn on our tank. So let's provide 100% on channel five and your tank will start up. As you can see too, I have a Mako connected and uh, the Manta and Remora. So, um, and that's feeding the information wirelessly back to my radio and displaying my battle stats on my screen here. So if I fire the cannon, and it's also, will after a while, show me the status of my the battery connected. So I've got a two cell battery connected. It's reading four volts on cell one and cell two. So I've got a total of eight volts there running on my, on my two cell LiPo. When I fire, Okay, the uh, display gets updated. But enough of Manta and Mako, we're talking about the RC5HL. Okay, now, the other thing on your RC5HL are, are switch functions. I'll just quickly run through those. On the bottom corner here, you have a set of pins for switch one and switch two. Now they can be used to operate relays or lights or whatever you want. To operate switch one, you need to provide 
minus 50% on channel 5. Now, oh, that'll stay there somewhat. Okay, now, I've set up this radio to provide minus 50% using this switch. So when I flick that switch, you can see this goes here to about halfway, and I activate switch 1. As you can see now, the blue LED has come on, telling me that switch 1 is working. Okay, and you can toggle it off by repeating. Okay, so switch 1 on, switch 1 off. Switch 2 is activated by minus 100% on channel 5, which I've got to this switch here. So you can see minus 100% on channel 5, and you'll see here now that the green light underneath the power light, it might be a bit hard to see on the video, but the green light will now switch on. To switch it off, simply repeat. Okay, so switch two, switch one. Switch one off, switch two off. So that's our switching functions for the RC5HL. As I said, you can wire that up to a relay or, or lighting or control your smoke. Um, that's what those switch functions are for. To turn the unit off, simply plus 100% and that will switch your unit off. So that's how you set up your RC5HL and the switching functions for use with your Turnergy 8-channel receiver. Thank you.